Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. I am coming to you at the beginning of August. I haven't been doing as many videos lately and I wanted to come and say hello and to talk a little bit about what I do during the summer. Um, it, summers have fallen into a habit for me to do a lot of cleaning of my craft studio as well as learning some new techniques. And I decided to put together a few um, of these techniques in some videos to show you um, some of the basics, the basics. Now some of these things will probably be, you know, a little bit underwhelming for some people, but for new people, for newer Cricut users, I thought these would be good things to get you started, to get you in the habit of, um, of learning to use your machine. It's really important. I hear a lot of times I hear people say, I got myself a Cricut, whether it's an Explore or if it's a Maker, even some of the older ones, but I got myself a Cricut and I'm afraid of it. I'm afraid to take it out of the box or I took it out of the box and I don't know what to do. I'm not really super inspired I need some help so this is my my goal is to get you to take those um, brand new and wonderful machines out of the boxes and get it all set up and we can show you some basics so this is um, what I'm holding here is a is an SVG that is a little box or a tote of, of sorts and this is really is only two different uh, types of material and it's a free SVG. So you can get this for free and all you need is um, is to have two different types of material. I chose this blue glitter paper and then I had this nice sunny yellow. Um, and I think that was one sheet of 12 by 12 and then this was just a w one sheet of, you know, or a piece of eight and a half by 11. And you could put this on both sides. I um, always give gifts to my son's uh, camp counselors because they just are fabulous people. So I, I was thinking, you know, what could I do for the end of this, this summer? And I'm thinking that I might fill these up with candy or something like that. So quick goes together really quickly and I'm going to show you how so please stay with me and I'm going to show you how to put this together. So here we are we're going to put this together it's a really simple tote that consists of two uh, colors this is a, a yellow nice um, actually it's kind of a really shiny yellow and then of course my glitter um, my blue glitter I love that blue glitter so you really are you're just cutting out two colors and the first one being those are the glitter pieces for one on one side one on the other and then we have the this is the main piece and the bottom then there's two bottoms um, and that is just a finishing touch you'll notice that um, of the two bottoms one is slightly smaller and actually has a L I don't know what the L stands for. Lower? I don't know. But um, so you there you can go ahead and um, and uh, fold at all of the fold lines, the score lines here. This actually was two pieces that I glued together here, right? I glued that, and then um, I'm going to come and close up the box by by putting glue on this let me make sure i get it in okay on this tab and i'm gonna do it on a flat surface but I'm not sure where you're gonna see it <laughs> um okay i don't have to do it on a flat surface but okay so we're gonna close that give it a couple of seconds to take hold right and then Oop, there is your box. Now we just have to set about doing the bottom. So we're gonna fold in these 
these tabs, but actually I should probably tell you that um, it's probably best before you actually do the bottom that you glue these pieces to the front and back. But I'm not going to do that just for time's sake. So um, it's best if you if you do do that. Okay. Now I think this is my opinion. I've been doing these boxes for a while. Um, I think it's best to put the glue from the outside and um, make sure you're doing it. This is the inside edge, right? And then what I'm going to do, I don't know if I put enough glue on there, but you'll do better. You'll do, you'll be caref more careful than I will be, right? So um, fold those back and see on the inside, there's your glue, right? And then I'm going to take, of those two pieces, I'm going to take the one with the L, the slightly smaller one, and I'm going to nestle it into the inside of the box, okay? And it takes a little maneuvering, but it's okay. Just be patient with yourself. I have to put it on a flat surface, which I know you can't see. Ugh. All right, so there you go. Now, um, you, I put the inside, I, it's not quite holding because of the glue is still, you know, wet. So I use the, <laughs> the bottom, you can use whatever you want, but I use the bottom of my glue to make sure that that sticks. And then I come back with my glue and I'm putting it on all the edges you see, and then in the middle. Oh, you can't see because my hand. Okay. See that? Probably could use a little bit more. And then this gives that finishing touch to the box. And again, you want to kind of put it on a flat surface, and you can use that little trick. And then before you know it, something that was flat, a piece of paper, turns into a really cool little box. Now, remember too, you can, um, you don't have to use this really adorable sun. You can use just this part of the box and make your own, make your own little overlay. That's okay too. Um, and just, you know, kind of play with those ideas. You could put stuff on the side if you want, or you could just put it on one on the back and maybe put a little thank you. Um, it's up to you. And that's what's so great about uh, Cricut and working with the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explore machines is that they give you that um, leeway to be a really creative person, to really tap into your creativity. Wasn't that simple? And oh, look at how adorable this is. I love the bright colors and I particularly love glitter. So having a really fun end of summer treat box that I'm going to fill up with little treats for all of my son's camp counselors um, is just, it's perfect. And how can you go wrong? This was a free SVG that I got at Dreaming Tree. And it's very simple to purchase these, and I can show you how to do that in an upcoming video, how to purchase and download these um, SVGs so that you can cut them on your Cricut. So that's all for today. Thanks so much for coming by. Do stay tuned because we have a couple not just one, but we have a couple of giveaways coming up that I don't want you to miss. So if you aren't already a subscriber, please like this video if you're watching it on Facebook or if you're watching it on YouTube. Um, could could you subscribe for my to my um, YouTube channel, Miss Rita to the Rescue? I'd so appreciate it. Like and possibly leave me a comment. I do respond to all the comments that I receive. So thank you so much. It's so great to hear from you all. Um, I think that's it for today. I'm going back to my summertime crafting. I'll be back with 
a couple of other videos with summer focused uh, crafts and then also we're coming up on the beginning of the school year so we're going to be going over some some really cute little gifts for the teachers um, and for the bus drivers and things like that that I want to make sure that I present to you a little uh, later on so do stay tuned have a wonderful day